Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to test for normality of a given continuous variable. So for a lot of these statistical tests, uh, we need to check for normality. Uh, if the data is not following normal distribution, then we cannot do uh, quite a number of uh, statistical analysis be it uh, t-test, be it uh, a lot of other statistical uh, analysis, right? So how do we actually check for normality of data set uh, of a given data, right? And if the data is continuous in nature and in numerical, then only we can, we can uh, check its normal normality. If it is categorical, then it's pointless to actually check its normality because it will never be normal. Right, and then um, let's see how we can do that, okay? Uh, there are various ways of doing that. First one is doing it uh, visually, right? We uh, actually see the plot and then evaluate if if it is normal or not. Well, there are some inherent weakness with, the, with this uh, way of uh, evaluating normality of, uh, of a given data set. Why? Because, you know, we could be deceived with the uh, plots um, because we probably won't be able to judge it properly. So we can also do hypothesis testing, statistical hypothesis testing in order to check for normality. So first thing we will see how we can do it visually. So we'll take a data set, uh, it's empty cars. So it's the same data set that I've taken in other videos, uh, in the last few videos. So let's first see what's there in the empty car and we will take at least one or two variables uh from this okay so this is how the data set looks like uh it's about the data set of various cars and we've got several variables some of them are continuous some of them categorical we will take the one which is continuous and mileage the first uh field mileage is a continuous variable and we will try to uh, check if this variable follows normal distribution or not um okay so the first one we will do is the uh, the qq plot or is also known as the quantile quantile uh, plot right um but qq plot can be done in two different ways uh, one is a normal probability plot which is a special case of qq plot uh, it's uh, well qq plot is basically plotting the quantiles okay so basically plotting the quantiles of the data with respect to the theoretical distribution. So I'm not going to the details of QQ plot. If you want to understand more about it, you can always read more on the internet uh, or from different other sources. Uh, but let's try to sort of understand through an example. So I'm not going to see, you know, uh, talk about the theory of it, but we can certainly understand it well without, uh, by, um, Take an example, okay? So here you see QQ plot. Okay, let me, um, all right. So this is the QQ plot. Yes, so you have theoretical quantiles and you have sample quantiles. Theoretical quantile comes from the uh, theoretical normal distribution. So it's basically the data is compared to a theoretical normal distribution. Theoretical normal distribution is nothing but if uh, there is some data which perfectly fills the normal distribution. How does this given sample compare to that uh, data which is uh, which is normally distributed? So it's basically comparison. Okay. So so the the x-axis is theoretical quantiles, which is a hypothetical data, right? It's not the real data. The y-axis is the real data, and you compare. If you get a forty-five degree line to the x-axis, then your data set is normally distributed. And you will you see that it's lying in, it's, it's a 45 degree line, the slope, uh, you know, if you, it's a, it's a straight line from the X, from the origin, 45 degree to the, or it's quite straight line, but that's not the case actually here in this case, you see there's some level of deviations, but we cannot really know whether this small deviation is actually significant or not. That's a problem with, um, you know, evaluating this uh, using uh, uh, using plots. There we can use uh, hypothesis testing, okay? So we can supplement this analysis with hypothesis testing to confirm whether the data follows normal distribution or not. Um, there's also another way of creating QQ plots with using the CARS library. 
so i've just installed it you can install the arch library first and then uh, let's plot keep it plot again um yeah so it's basically a slightly difference with the confidence level with the you know it's a line feeding the data um yeah as you see it is somewhat different from because it's not starting from the x-axis sorry it's not starting from the origin right it's starting somewhere away from the origin and that's a bit of an issue but whether it's a big issue or not is something that we cannot evaluate that's a problem with you know evaluating normality from the plots okay but we can certainly use hypothesis testing to know and there are several tests we can use one is sapiro wilk test uh, anderson darling test uh, kolmogorov smirot test there are many statistical hypothesis testing that we can use to evaluate normality of a, of a given data set okay we will use the same data same field uh, mileage uh, sapiro uh, wilk test you know there's a simple in text you don't have to install any package for that just sapiro dos test and provide the field for which you want to test the uh, normality the uh, null hypothesis here is that the data is uh, normally distributed the alternative hypothesis is that the data is not normally distributed or non normal okay uh, if uh, and we we're going to test this at 95% confidence level so for 95% confidence level if the p value is less than 0.05 0 0.05 then we reject the null hypothesis so we conclude then that the dot data is non normal or not normally distributed otherwise if the p value is greater than 0.05 then we accept the null hypothesis which is that the data is normally distributed okay um all right so let's run this right so here you see the p value is 0 0.112 which is greater than 0 0.05 hence we conclude that the data so we re basically reject the null hypothesis right if the p value is greater than 0 0.05 as i said previously we reject the null hypothesis uh, and we accept the alternative hypothesis which is that the data is uh, normally distributed uh, normally distributed okay sorry uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, so if p value is greater than, sorry, less than 0 0.05, then we reject the null hypothesis. Uh, and in this case, it is greater than. So uh, I'm really sorry. It's exact opposite. P value is greater than 0 0.05 because it is 0 0.11, 0 0.1229. Hence, we um, we accept the null hypothesis, right? Which is that the data is normally distributed. That means this, uh, through the plot, what we see that there is some deviation that is not very significant. You can also plot it, right? The easiest way is to also plot using a histogram. That's also something you can do easily. It's a very simple syntax. Uh, here you see, right? It looks normally distributed with some level of tail, um, right? So it's somewhat left orthotic, but it's, uh, if you take out maybe the, um, outliers towards the right hand side maybe it will be more closer to normal distribution there are other uh, statistical tests we can do anderson darling is one uh, a good example so anderson darling test is actually somewhat uh, more accommodative so somewhat more uh, sensitive to the tails okay so it uh, it takes it handles the tails uh, of the dis distrib data distribution uh, properly and hence especially in such cases where you see there is indeed a tail anderson darling test is more uh, preferable compared to uh, compared to the sapiro wilk test okay and let us run this okay it's this syntax is pretty same uh, but for that, we have to install this Northeast package. I've already installed it, but you can install it in package and then call the uh, to a library the, and then just use ad.test function. So that's as simple as that. ad.test, ad stands for Anderson Dialing dot test. Okay. And again, the null hypothesis is the same. Data is normally distributed. Alternative data is not normally distributed. 
and if the p value is less than 0.05 then we reject the null hypothesis if p value is greater than 0.15 then we will accept the null hypothesis okay uh, all right so p value is 0.12 which is greater than 0.05 so we accept the null hypothesis right so it's it is giving the same uh, conclusion as the previous one as the sapiro test okay and i expect the same also for other statistical tests but there are also other tests such as uh, jacob barra test and then kolmogorov spinor test but uh, kolmogorov spinor test is also something we can do syntax is somewhat different it's for this you don't have to install any library it's just test and you need to provide uh, the field and then some sort of uh, summary statistic here we have used mean so it will check with respect to whether the mean is uh, normally distributed or not okay um, again the null hypothesis is that the data is normally distributed alternate hypothesis is that it's not normally distributed okay and we will do it at 95 percent level like what how we have done for the other two tests so let us run this um, here you see the p-value is 0 0.9188 that means it is greater than 0 0.05 we uh, accept the null hypothesis in this case right so all, all three cases we accept the null hypothesis which is that the data is normally distributed if it was less than 0 0.05 then we would have um, rejected the null hypothesis and then accepted the alternative hypothesis which says that the data is not normally distributed so these are some of the hypothesis uh, testing that you can do uh, well if you're not doing any sort of uh, statistics econometrics analysis or statistical analysis and you're just doing some sort of machine learning kind of modeling i think you can very well be fine with just uh, plotting the data and seeing whether it is normally distributed or not so you don't need to get into the details of the hypothesis testing way of checking normality. But if you're doing econometrics or more uh, inferential statistics kind of thing, then it's always good to uh, check in multiple ways whether the data is uh, distributed normally or not. Now question is, if the data is not normally distributed, what will you do? There are a few ways. First of all, you need to, you may need to um, remove the outliers to make the data look more normal okay that's one way the other way is also you can do you can apply some transformation some sort of a transformation where the originality of the data remains but the data looks a bit more normal but the third way if the first two ways do not work what you can do is that you can use statistical analysis that do not rely on normality assumption the assumption of normality and we call those kind of statistical analysis a normal uh, the non-parameter uh, test or the non-parametric statistical analysis where there is no theoretical assumption of uh, for the parameters right and we have discussed a couple of the tests actually in the last few videos you can check also in my last few videos where i've discussed some of the non-parametric way of checking this but you can also use uh, uh, you can use also non-parametric regression techniques uh, for you know forecasting and you know, establishing relationship between multiple variables, so on and so forth. So that's the idea here. You know, normally to check is very, very important for you to take a decision whether you should use parametric test or parametric statistical analysis or non-parametric statistical analysis. And it's not just the only check because there are other checks also, but this is one very important check that you need to do for uh, such analysis.